Hey guys, this is Robert with TheRecreationalWoodworker.com and today I've got a really cool project. My customer brought me this old antique dining table that's been in her family for many years and what we're going to do is we're going to enlarge the top, create a new leaf, create a new leaf that goes in there um, to make it hold her family now because she her family has grown and she's got kids, grandkids and she wants a place where her whole family can gather around this table that's been in her family for a very long time. So essentially, we're gonna reuse the base, reuse this uh, leaf mechanism. It's gonna be really cool to kind of show you how these old leaf mechanisms worked. Uh, it's the first time I'm getting to play with it as well. Here's a closer up of her table, and I apologize for the background noise. My neighbors are doing some lawn care stuff, and I can't really complain about the noise they generate since I'm always in the shop making noise. So it's got these really cool legs underneath here, and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come in with a glazing, and we're gonna glaze all these flutes and stuff to give it a little bit more detail. And I think these are gonna get repainted like a bronze, a dark uh, charcoal. I've got to take off the top. You can see the mechanism there. Everything kind of latches together. So we'll reuse all of that. And it's just going to be wider and a little bit longer. And then wider and a little bit longer. First thing I do anytime I start a project, especially for tables that I'm going to glue up, is I want to edge joint at least one side. I can take my track or my long track and just butt it up to the edge, say, expose just eighth of an inch and make sure enough material is showing and then I can get my glue line rip and then I can take it over the table saw butt it up against my miter saw fence and do any operation I need to do from there obviously if you're dealing with true rough lumber you'll have to figure out a way to flatten it but S2S is parallel on two sides and then I'll square up the rest on the table saw and hey if this is one of your first times to my channel be sure to subscribe and then go to the channel uh, itself and you can search for how to build tabletops. I've covered the tabletop building extensively in another video and did a dedicated video just on tabletops. And here we're kind of glossing over a lot of those steps. So we have full tutorials on the website, on the YouTube channel. So be sure to like, share, subscribe and all that stuff. Now let's get back to the video. And out here in my finishing booth, I have been clear coating this. I just did my second coat of a flat lacquer. See, it's got a very, very, very low luster to it. Really like it. This mahogany just turned out gorgeous. I'm a big fan of the mahogany, and this is um, Old Master's Carbon Black Stain. All right, so this is really cool. I'm going to remove this mechanism and reuse it, as well as reuse the base. So once you unlatch it, this can come apart and see it kicks out right there and then you can see the dowels that are here to do the alignment and instead I just use dominoes and then that slides apart and even after all this time it still slides very well let me grab the camera and show you how this works as you can see this is just a big sliding dovetail we'll re-wax this so it slides well you can see that it's uh, the dovetail is almost separate from the piece. They dovetailed everything and then slid this in and must be glued to that. And then, uh -oh. there we go. And that is how it works. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just marking, I have this as open as it goes and I'm just marking where all these pieces hit so that I can align my top to that. What I'm doing here is I'm just marking where these are on here. That way I can transfer those measurements to my table when I'm done. All right, that should do it. Now, the, this top is just held on with um, flathead screws. So let's undo that and see what happens. It's really cool how this mechanism works. It is just screwed on. It looks like they had a little bit of spot glue there, but then it was held in place with screws. 
and some glue blocks. And so that just does very, very smooth. I'm going to wax, wax these so they slide a little bit free. This one is a little jammed up. It looks like it's got a little bit of warpage or there's something in there. But I'm going to... I'm gonna see what's going on there and get that fixed. We glazed these legs, um, but basically I just brushed on some stain and then wiped it off and got it in all the cracks and everything and all the old spots that, you know, it um, had been scratched over the years. And I think it looks pretty good. I am gonna clear coat over that so you're not getting stain on you. Even when it dries, it'll wanna come off of that. Well, this is the worst job I've done of filming a video ever, so apologize for that. I've got my apron done. You can see I didn't clear coat the bottom. Um, I used my domino to make these miters and hold everything together, and that worked extremely good. You can see the glazing that I did on the legs, and then I just lacquered over the top of that to match. You can see the mechanism is screwed in right here. Um... Yeah, so I mean, it's pretty simple. You can see I just attached the apron with pocket screws on the inside. That's a domino and I used my little pin nailer so you can't even see those nail holes right there. All right, here's the finished project. Um, I'll get some pictures of it in the customer's house, obviously. Lazing those legs definitely, definitely helped. I love mahogany. I love the way the finish turned out on this. Just used a flat lacquer on top. Still gonna go do a final coat of paste wax. That's just like a nice finishing thing I like to do. And the cool thing is, if you wanna add a leaf, those slide out nice and easy. You can see I just used some dominoes right here. My uh, battery died on my good mic, so I apologize for that. But you can see that widens out a little bit more. Those dominoes pop into place there. And that's need just a little bit of alignment. There we go. Very beautiful table. Very happy with how it turned out. Ready to serve this family for another few generations. Thank you for watching this video over making this table. I know it's a little bit different than my normal videos as I just kind of got in the process of making this and then forgot to share a few things with the actual process of making it. But I hope you found value in it. If you like seeing these kind of build videos, be sure to leave a comment, like, and share this with somebody else. And if I've earned your subscription, be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next week.